Hi guys, I am here for a book haul! Woo! And I have 10 books to show you. I also know that I'm going to be receiving like quite a few books here within the next couple weeks. So I really wanted to get this book haul done so that way it doesn't turn into like a 20 plus book haul, you know, you know? Let's start hauling these books. So this very first book I was actually contacted by the author and she emailed me um, and unfortunately I wasn't going to be able to to take part in the blog tour she's hosting um, because of time reasons and stuff. Um, but she went ahead and she wanted to send me a copy so I could read and review on my own time. So here's the book. I just got it uh, in the mail today. And I think the cover is really cool. Uh, anything to do with mermaids, I'm like interested in. But it's got like the fishtail braid. Get it? Fishtail? <laughs> it's so little! What the heck? I, I got it and I felt it in the package and I was like, what is this? Like, I don't think I ordered like a DVD or something and I opened it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is super small. It's like over 100 pages, but it's so, it's so little. So this is called Standing by China Dennington. And this is the first of a trilogy. It's going to be called the Water Blaze Trilogy. And this has to do with like time traveling and like mermaids and I know it's set in the future and I know that humanity is kind of doomed and this girl and her partner are basically like saving us and she's a time traveler. Um, she's coming from the past to help out and it just sounded really cool like mermaids and time traveling. What else do you need? So this actually was released in August of 2014, so it's not super old. Um, if you guys want to check it out, you can buy it on Amazon. And also I will link the website below so you can check out more about the author. But another reason why I am excited to read this, I'm excited to help support this author, is this author is actually 14 years old. And this is her first book. And I found that out and I thought it was just really, really cool. And I was just really proud of her. I mean, she's 14. And she has her first book out and it's going to be a trilogy and I just, I think that's awesome. So this next book was sent to me, I think by mistake, and it's sent by Entangled Teen. They send me a lot of books to read and review, but this is a second in a trilogy. I don't have the first one. The first book is called Scintillate, which I don't have. This is a trilogy. It's called the Light Key Trilogy. And I know that part of this takes place in Ireland, and I know that the main character can see like auras. I'm reading Bloodlines right now, so it makes me obviously think of Adrian. But everyone's aura seems to be super colorful, but for some reason hers is like a startling silver color. So it's super odd. She doesn't know what's going on. And then she meets someone else who also has the same silver aura. And yeah, it seems definitely interesting. Um, I will link the Goodreads uh, page below for the first book. If it sounds like a trilogy you'd be into. It said on Goodreads that it was a paranormal romance. So yeah, I mean if you're interested. I think it does sound pretty pretty cool but I don't have the first book so I'm, I'm gonna have to go to the library I guess and check out the first book because I don't have it. I am so excited to show you this next book. It is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Now, if you missed it, my uppercase YA book subscription unboxing that I did, and this was what came in the subscription box. So if you've never heard of this, this is set in a world divided by blood, and there's the reds, which are like the commoners, and then there's the silvers, which are elite warriors with godlike powers. And the main character is red, but she works in the silver palace. So although she's a red, she discovers she already has some powers of her own, some deadly powers. So to me, it sounds really good. I love the cover. I've heard really amazing things. So these next two books were actually sent to me by Penguin, and they are Control and Catalyst by Lydia King. And a lot of you have probably heard of these. Control has actually been out since December of 2013, but this book actually just came out March 24th of this year. So this is brand, brand new. Can I just say, can we just take a minute, please, and talk about what the heck is with these cover changes? This is what the old cover looks like, and this is the new one. Why did they do that? Why on earth would they change this beautiful cover? I mean, is that not just gorgeous? The colors, and this is just so bland, in my opinion. If I saw this on the shelf, like, my eyes would probably just 
keep going. Like, I think this is so boring. I'm so frustrated. This one has a little bit more color. I feel like online this looks a lot prettier than it does in person, let's be honest. I don't understand, but this is just a duology. So it says even right here at the end of Control. So there are just two books. The first time I heard about this book, it was actually through the Booksplosion group because I'm pretty sure this was like their first book that they ever read. I also really wanted to read it because they said it's perfect for fans of the Ugly series. And we all know my love for the Ugly series. So this is actually set in 2150. So it's set pretty far in the future. And it says it is a spiraling, intense, romantic story set in 2150 in a world of automatic cars, nightclubs with auditory ecstasy drugs, and guys with four arms. This is about the human genetic mistakes that society wants to forget and the way that outcasts can turn out to be heroes. So I know the main character has a sibling that's been taken away and they're doing some like DNA testing on him and I know she's trying to like get her sibling back. Um, but I've heard good things and I haven't heard anything about this because it literally just came out. But let me know if you've read Control, if you're excited for Catalyst, what your thoughts are, what your thoughts are on the cover change. I'm not a fan, but what do I know? So this next book I was sent to read and review by Empire Books and it is called Volition and it is by Lily Paradis and the cover is kind of cool. It's just kind of like this eerie cool picture. Um, so it says my soul is blacker than my heart up there. I have no idea what this is about and it's not because I was a lazy booktuber that did not research beforehand. I went on Goodreads, I read the back, I read the paper that came with this. I still have no clue what this book is about. So, <laughs> read in the back. It basically says that this main character kind of had something good going, essentially, and then she like purposefully ruined it. And it says, that's what I did. I did it because there's a darkness that surrounds me and I think I want it there. My name is Tate McKenna and my soul is blacker than my heart. Not only is the synopsis super vague, um, it's the same synopsis on Goodreads, so don't try and see if there's like a different one. But on Goodreads, you know where it says genres? It says this is listed as new adult and also YA. So, okay. It's also listed as contemporary and fantasy. So, what are you? So I'm just going to have to read this to find out. It does sound interesting. It is mysterious and my, my interest is peaked for sure. Um, not to show you like the middle of the book or anything. But there's like the chapter thing. So is that like a blood splatter? I don't, I don't know. Let me know if you guys have read this. This came out in February of this year. So it's just been out a couple months. Oh man. <sighs> These next two books. Okay. So you guys know I'm reading the Bloodline series. And I already owned the first one. Jake bought me it a long time ago. And then I went to the library and I bought, or bought. Um, I went to the library and I borrowed books two through Five. And then I went and bought The Ruby Circle by Rochelle Mead when it came out and that may seem kind of silly because now I have like number one and number six and just like the middle ones are library copies. But yeah, I knew the library probably wouldn't have a copy for a while so I'm not to this book yet. I'm currently reading um, Silver Shadows but this is next. So soon, soon my love, we shall be together. Oh, this next one. I just bought this book last night. I was not planning on buying a book, but I had to go to the mall to help Jake with buying some jeans for like this wedding he's going to be in. Um, it's like jeans and cowboy boots and stuff and he had to buy like a specific pair of jeans. So we went there and of course I have to just like at least walk through Barnes & Noble. You can't not at least walk through. I always park by the Barnes & Noble entrance so I just like have to go through. So I look at the end caps and I go through the you know why I section like I always do. And I see this book on the shelf. Remember, this is the book I'm currently reading, like I just started. And it's signed. Oh my gosh. I, gra I instantly like grabbed it off the shelf, made sure it was signed for real and it wasn't just like lying to me. I don't know why they would put the sticker on if it wasn't, but I was so excited. I decided to go there last night. Like, oh, so now I own one, five, and six. And I just, and now I have a signed copy because really Rochelle Mead I feel like doesn't go to a lot of book events and stuff. So I feel like it'd, it'd be a really long time before I ever got to meet her and get a signed book. So, oh my gosh, I'm just, I can't, 
I, I don't know how to tell you how excited I am. So obviously I'm not telling you the synopsis for this book and that book because they're the end of the series, but this is the Bloodline series is the spinoff series of the Vampire Academy series and the Vampire Academy series is one of my favorite series of all time. And just in my opinion, I like this a little less than the Vampire Academy series, but it's still a super strong series. I really love it. Like Vampire Academy is like a five star and this is like a four, four and a half star, in my opinion. I don't know, maybe these next two books will change my mind and it will become a five star series. I don't know. I have two more books here. So this book was sent to me by Quirk Books and they send me a lot of books as well. They're so cool. They always have just the coolest books. This book also just came out March 24th, so it's brand new. So this is called The Mystery Writers of America Cookbook and it's got a whole bunch of recipes from all these people and um, on the back it also lists all of the contributors, which is really, really cool. And then it says, and other acclaimed plotsters. Get it? Plotsters. <laughs> this is just a beautiful book in my opinion. Like I just want to like set this up in my kitchen. And one of my favorite parts about this is all of the pictures. So when you open it, you instantly see like there's the gun and a knife and some bullets and there's the content. So you have breakfast, appetizers, soup and soups and salads, entrees, side dishes, desserts, cocktails. You have an introduction. And then it says breakfast. It says chapter one. The job is tough. I knew that when I was hired on. Some nights are long. Last night we had a stakeout and this morning we have no new facts. What we need is some breakfast. So I love that every chapter they tie in with like mystery novels and so here it shows like what they're gonna have and then they have these delicious pictures that just make your mouth water. Oh my gosh, this is called a the rum soaked Nutella French toast. Oh my gosh. I like how the pictures usually have something with it also like this one has like some rope <laughs> this sandwich has like some bullets by it i like also that there's lots of still vegetarian options like for me so there is a vegetarian chili in here that i'm really wanting to try and i actually already tried this killer tofu which was spicy but super delicious so i was sent this that says any mystery connoisseur worth their salt knows that whether it's being used as a villain's nefarious weapon or keeping their favorite detectives going Food plays a major role in the genre. From the comforting breakfast cuisines of Arthur Conan Doyle's Mrs. Hudson to the poison lace meals of Agatha Christie's fictional victims, food not only provides major plot twists, but also defines character. I just love that all these authors have contributed recipes. I don't know, I just, I really, really think cooking is really fun and I'm always trying different stuff. This is called Grandma's Killer Chocolate Cake. <laughs> So I personally, I just think that this is such a cool, cool book. I think this is such an amazing gift idea. So if you know someone that loves to cook, if you know someone that loves mystery novels, give them this cookbook. This is the coolest thing. I've already said, I've already tried a few of the recipes and they turned out really amazing. They're very easy to follow, very simple recipes. Definitely my type of cookbook. So the last book I had to show you is a dystopian book sent to me by Entangled Teen. So thank you very much for sending me these books. Um, it is called Awakening by Shannon Duffy. And it says, fear your dreams, chase the truth, chase the truth. And this book is not out yet. It comes out April 7th. So you have what, a couple weeks. Um, so this is set uh, in the future. And the main girl lives in a society where um, it says, she believes in everything the protectorate stands for. She likes the safety and security of having her entire life planned out, her career, may even the date of her death. She doesn't even think to question when Darian, her childhood friend and neighbor, is convicted of murdering his parents. Um, and it says, you know, she's like, clearly if he was convicted, he must have done it. Uh, it says, then Darian shows up in her room late one night. He has escaped from the terror escape, which is like a nightmare machine they use to punish people. Uh, and he needs her help. And apparently he just, I don't know, it says she doubts everything she's ever been told. And, you know, like the normal kind of dystopian, like where it's like, oh, life is not as perfect as I thought it was. I like books like that. I, it's been a while since I read a dystopian like this. And so far on Goodreads, there's not many reviews because it's not even out yet. But for the people that I received this early, I've heard really good things. And it has all like four and five star ratings. So I am really interested in reading this and I will put the Goodreads link so if you want to check it out you can get it when it comes out in just a couple weeks. But yeah, I think it sounds really good. Um, I think it's a standalone. I didn't hear, I didn't see anything about it being a trilogy or anything like that. So as far as I know, 
Um, but yeah, check this out if it sounds good to you. That is all the books I have. Let me know if you've read any of these books, if they're on your TBR list, if you're excited for them. I hope that you guys are having an awesome weekend. You should let me know what you're currently reading in the comments, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!